Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at setting up a Tunely animation with lip sync so that your character can actually move their mouth as you're speaking. So I've launched Toonly here. It's really important that you're using version 1.3 or later because the lip sync function was added in 1.3. I'm going to create a brand new video. So I'm just going to click here. I'm going to call this YouTube channel intro because I'm making my YouTube channel intro using this tool. So I'm going to click create. Now, the first thing I'm going to need is, of course, my audio track. So I'm going to the audio area and I'm just going to upload my new sound files. So I'll click here and I'm just going to navigate to where that is stored. So I have it in my captures file. So here's my new channel intro. It's just an MP3 file, so it's just audio. I'll click open. I'm just going to knock the end off this. It's very easy to rename your files. I'm just making sure that it reads what is going to make sense to me. I'll save and upload it. Now, if you've not used Tunely before, this is what you're going to do. You're going to drag your sound onto the default area, not in the music area. It has to be in default. So here is my sound file that I just uploaded. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into default. Now, the next thing I have to do is actually put something in here so I can stretch it out. So I'm just going to put in a background. So let's go and find a background. I'm going to choose one of the office scenes. Now I'm using the enterprise versions. So I'm going to have a lot more backgrounds than you have, but the lip sync feature and the other features I'm showing you are exactly the same in whichever version you're using. So don't worry that you're going to miss out because you're not using the enterprise version. So here is the office background. So this now lets me stretch this out. So I'm going to drag the office background. I'm just going to look for a natural break here in my welcome. So this is the first part of my welcome thing. I'm just going to play it, make sure it's okay. Okay, so there's a natural break here and you can see that on the audio timeline. Don't like the bounce effect, I'm going to right click on the office here and turn off the entrance effect. So that's not going to bounce any longer, it's just going to sit in place. So now we're going to get our character. So I'm going to go to the characters, I'm going to locate the character I want to use. Now you can use any character that you like, they all can be lip synced. I'm going to use this white American girl. I've used her in other things before. And I think it works pretty well for me. So I'm just going to size her appropriately. Now I need to make sure that she's going to come in at the beginning because I want her in place at the beginning of this scene. And I want her to stay in position all the way to the end of the scene. I'm going to right click her because I don't want her to bounce. So I'm just going to set her to instant on the in effect and the out effect. And then I'm going to click on the type and I'm going to choose lip sync. And that's going to set her up to lip sync. Now having done that, I need to tell Toonly which track to use and it's this one down here. So I'm going to click the drop down list and take the new channel intro. Now that I've done that, I'm going to make sure that this track is going to play across all scenes. So I'll right click it and just make sure that play through is selected. That means that when I add a new scene and add a background to it, because that's important to have background. Let's go and get a new office scene for this. So I'm going to stretch this out and as I stretch it out, you can see that I'm getting the rest of the soundtrack here. If you hadn't had it play across, then you wouldn't be seeing the soundtrack. And this is a really nice feature of Toonly. And so I'm going back to get my character and we're going to do the setup for the character here as well. So I'm just going to scroll down until I find my character. I think she's pretty close to the bottom. Now you'll find that I have a lot of characters here. Again, that's because I have the enterprise version. If you have the other version, just the regular version, you won't have as many characters. Right click the character. We're going to turn off this bounce because I just do not like the bounce effect at all. I'm going to set her to lip sync. And I'm going to make sure that I set the correct track. So you will have to add your soundtrack before you can get the lip sync to work. Basically, that's the way you work it. So I'm going to drag her out so she goes the full length of the scene. So let's go back to scene one and let's test her. OK, so now let's preview the whole thing. So we're going to preview scene one and scene two. 
Okay, so I've got some work to do on the second scene. I don't want it to bounce, so I'm going to right click the office and deselect the entrance effect because I don't want it to bounce. But there are the basics of using lip sync in Toonly. Of course, if you want to add individual soundtracks for each scene, you're just going to do the exact same thing. Only you're going to add the soundtrack to each scene individually and you'll make sure that on the initial soundtrack you don't have playthrough selected so that you can add a soundtrack to each each scene that you want to have a soundtrack for and then you'll just need to point your character at the soundtrack that you're using for that particular scene so when you go to track you're just going to select the soundtrack that matches the scene that you're working in. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you really like this feature of Toonly. I think it's a game changer for Toonly. I think it actually brings Toonly up into the realm of being a really good animation program to use. Now, if you are interested in buying it, I would recommend that you spring for the Enterprise version. There's a really good deal on Facebook for the regular and Enterprise version. I just think the Enterprise version is a little bit richer in terms of content, although the feature, this lip sync feature, is available in either version. Version. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley and thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel.